I would like to present you a case um, that I received in emergency around seven years ago. It was a patient called Max, a Yorkshire Terrier of almost three years old, and he had a trauma from elevator. He was on the leash and his owner didn't see he was stuck in the elevator. He arrived in 30 minutes and he was a completely ataxic, unable to stand and was uh, having involuntary movements with his head from side to side. He had a head tilt. Otherwise, there were no clinical findings. His eye pupils didn't react to the light, they were dilated. And he had horizontal nystagm, it means his pupils were involuntarily moving from side to side. The proper receptive reaction was absent on all four legs, which could possibly lead to total paralysis. And his head tilt was on the right side, he was discoordinated. He had no uh, other specific findings, just uh, neurological signs, abnormal cranial nerve function and spinal nerve function. He was hospitalized and after emergency visit, in the morning he received Arnica 10M every five minutes for several times. He was put in a cage that was covered from the light for three days. Then by the evening the pupils started responding on the light. He looked more reactive, but he still had nystagm and unable to stand on his legs. Ataxia. Next morning we found out that he didn't urinate for around 24 hours. We tried to take him out and hold him and tried the, to call the owner, but it didn't help. The dog was urinating also wasn't urinating also with the owner. As he had vomited in the night, I started to suspect urethral rupture, so I did biochemistry of the blood and checked the kidney values. All the values were absolutely normal. Owners wanted to euthanize the animal, as they didn't believe he could come back to normal. I proposed to give him a chance and wait, and gave Hypericum perforatum 10M against nerve trauma. In five minutes the dog urinated. This made the owners change their mind about euthanasia. The same evening, dog started eating liquid food himself. Next day, Nistagm became twice slower. He started standing on his feet, but still not stable. And uh, he was taken home for further recovery, as he was stable enough to go home. Control was advised in 10 days. And for that period of recovery, only walks to do his business were advised and um, to keep him in a cage so he cannot traumatize himself again. So on the control, he came bright, alert and responsive. He uh, was able to uh, walk and he was not having any more involuntary movements with his head. You'll see a video later. And you'll see his uh, full uh, checklist that we did when he arrived. Um, he had pupil constrict constriction reaction, both direct and indirect. Uh, so his eyes were uh, practically normal. His proper receptive reaction on the legs returned totally on all four legs. But flexor reflexes returned just on front legs. On his hind legs flexors were still slow. Um, he was 80% better in two weeks time and prognostic already was very good because he prog progressed incredibly fast. So here is Max. Max? Edwin? <laughs> Bah oui, il est gentil.